Andrew Grail, seek heads to Trentham this weekend for the Desert Gold. How's she doing? Yeah, she's doing really well. Uh, look, she's uh, she had a wee easy time there after Boxing Day, and then we've sort of you know just worked her up quietly into into Saturday and. Um, her work here yesterday morning. She she really she put a, put put a PB in. She worked in really well, and uh, she certainly she certainly trained into this race uh, in a manner that we, we couldn't be more happy. What did you ask of her in that gallop? Uh, look, she she went a you know a nice twelve hundred metres and rolled home the last thousand and you know quickened in the last six hundred and yeah she's you know she's running good sectionals, well comfortable, and we're really happy with the wind when she pulled up. It looks like she's you know she's a big girl that you know she can take a wee bit of work, but um, you know the wind indicated that she's pretty close. Uh, for Saturday. Uh, you've got Sid Bena heading to the Desert Gold Stakes. So uh, what have you done with her in preparation for that? Uh, she's only had one gallop, which was um, on Monday morning, and um, uh, you know she only raced uh, a little bit fortnight between runs, and that was a trip away. So um, she doesn't take a lot, but I think she looks well placed in that race. Yeah. How pleased were you with her last start performance? Oh, you had to be. It was a good effort, and. Um, uh, I don't think the mile will hold any fears for her either. Tony Vera rose into the Desert Gold this weekend, how's she? Yeah, she worked really well on uh, Tuesday morning, couldn't be happier with her. Uh, she sort of got stuck down on the inside at Counties and really didn't handle the track, she's got a lovely low action and I think back on a firm surface on Saturday, um, yeah, she should improve significantly. Yeah, her form prior showed that she really is a promising filly. Just tell us about the stable opinion of her. Yeah, look, she sort of sort of flew under the radar a wee bit, very sort of laid back filly, um, unassuming, but um, obviously she was good on debut at a big price and then backed that up with another uh, good win at a second start. And uh, yeah, on face value, disappointing at counties, but it was just the track. The Desert Gold, you've got a sense of time in there. Really nice win after doing some work last time. How has she come on from that? Yeah, we always thought a little bit of it, but she was a little bit weak and we've just taken our time with her. Like in the spring, she had a couple of trials and we said to the owners, she's just not really thriving, so we just put her back out. And this time round, she's stronger, she's eating better. And I don't think it's the strongest desert gold field that we've seen, and uh, she's, she's in the mix for sure. Ben Mars into the Desert Gold this weekend, how is she? Yes, yeah, she's done really well. Um, yeah, she's improving Philly, so I'm pretty happy with where she's at. Yeah, the last start run was pretty good and good company, and that form seems to be stacking up okay. How's she come through? Yeah, no, nah, really well. Um, yes, yeah, she was, it was a good run against two pretty classy horses, I think. Um, Michael said that she felt that, you know, maybe on a bit firmer ground she'll, she'll uh, stretch out even better, so we're yeah, looking forward to hopefully getting a firm track. Dragon Blossom heads to the Desert Gold. Uh, are you happy with her build up? Yeah, she's a lovely little filly and she's been probably really unlucky. Um, she's going in a maiden, but whether she should really be a maiden, I'm not sure. Um, the horses that she's just been get, getting beaten by are all going to the race, so um, Miles going to be ideal for her. She's a lovely, relaxed filly, just goes to sleep, finishes off pretty quickly, so she deserves to have a go. It sounds like you, you've of the opinion that she wants to get even further too. Yeah, like we really think she's an Oaks filly. She's got it written all over. Even though she's small, she's really honest. She tries her heart out, and I guess that's what you want in a filly.